can get omega-3s from eating plant-based foods. Well, omega-3s are a family of fatty acids. They're sort of uh, EPA. They're associated with a lower risk of heart disease. They improve your circulation, which is important. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the best health tips to help you live your best life. Today, we're talking about an absolute powerhouse when it comes to healing your body, omega-3 fatty acids. These healthy fats are more than just trendy, they're essential for reducing inflammation and promoting overall health. What are omega-3s? These are essential fatty acids, meaning your body can't produce them on its own. You need to get them from food. Omega-3s come in three main types. Ala, which is alpha-linolenic acid, found in plant sources like flax seeds and chia seeds, and EPA or eicosapentaenoic acid, and DHA, which is docosahexaenoic acid, primarily found in fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, and sardines. EPA and DHA found in fish, are the most beneficial when it comes to reducing inflammation. They directly block the production of inflammatory molecules and are critical for maintaining a healthy immune system. Omega-3s, omega-6s are really just words, names that describe polyunsaturated fatty acids. These are healthier forms of fat that are important for our body. And the fact is that uh, we need both omega-3s and omega-6s. The problem is that we in sort of modern societies tend to eat way too many omega-6s. And just like everything else in health, when you're out of balance and when you have too much of one and not enough of another, that extreme, especially with omega-6, sets us up for um, inflammation. But let's go ahead and take a look at omega-3s, which are the beneficial uh, healthy fats of uh, PUFAs, polyunsaturated fatty acids, that we tend not to get enough of. So, you know, omega-3s, uh, are a family of fatty acids. They're sort of uh, EPA or eicosapentaenoic acid, uh, EPA or uh, DHA, which is uh, docosahexaenoic acid. And these actually originally come from algae and plankton and sort of plants of the sea, as I like to call them. And, you know, little critters, little fish, little shellfish uh, eat the, the algae and the plankton. They build up the omega-3s in their bodies, which then are eaten by larger fish, and then you go up the food chain, the smaller fish are eaten by the next larger fish, and so on and so forth. And, and of course, then the fish that we tend to eat, especially the ones that are well known to be filled with healthy fats, as they say, you know, the salmon, the uh, tuna, or the mackerel, these are predatory fish, the so-called oily fish, wind up actually accumulating these omega-3s in their flesh. And that's what makes seafood actually healthy. But you can also get omega-3s from dietary supplements. And I think that's very important because not everybody is used to eating, uh, or, or sometimes people just can't eat or can't get um, the types of seafoods that actually contain them. I also want to say that you can get omega-3s from eating plant-based foods because some plant-based foods like chia seeds and flax seeds and walnuts and Brussels sprouts, they actually have the precursor to omega-3s that when you eat them, your body can make the, some omega-3s as well, although not very much. And so there's different ways of getting omega-3s. And the reason I, as a scientist and a doctor, tell people, including my patients, that omega-3s are important to know about and important to consume is because we know they help cardiovascular health. They're, they're associated with a lower risk of heart disease. They improve your circulation, which is important. Whether you're a young person who's physically active, you need more blood flow to your muscles on one hand. But on the other hand, there are people that are older that need better blood flow to their brain and other organs as well. But when you think about good cognition, we want to be able to actually be vital and functional for as long as we, uh, as long as we're able to with our lifespan, omega-3s play a role there as well. Now, the one thing about omega-3s that is helpful no matter what is they lower inflammation. Lowering inflammation protects us essentially from many of the chronic diseases that are fueled or sparked, uh, triggered by inflammation. So it's a countermeasure against chronic disease. And on top of that, the recent research has shown that omega-3s can protect our stem cells. Yeah. These are the cells inside our body that allow us to regenerate and heal and repair our organs from the inside out. And when it comes to metabolism, it turns out omega-3s play a role there too. Omega-3s activate a special kind of body fat called brown fat in all of our bodies. This is a good fat. So if omega-3s are a kind of good um, fat we eat, they act, it activates a kind of good fat that we have inside our body. It's plastered around our neck, under our 
uh, or under our breastbone, underneath our arms. And this good fat burns down, uh, 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 improves our metabolism, burns down harmful visceral fat, which also lowers inflammation. So here's what we're talking about. These are healthy fats um, that you can get from various types of food sources or dietary supplements that are so important in our modern knowledge of health. Omega-3s work by entering your cells and reducing the production of pro-inflammatory substances called cytokines. By doing this, they help to lower the inflammation that can lead to chronic diseases. They also protect your blood vessels, keeping them flexible and reducing the risk of heart disease. It's a whole body benefit. Now, the latest research actually shows that while the oily, oiliest of oily fish, like the smash fish you just described, is the salmon, mackerel, anchovies, and herring, it's true that the oilier it is, the more omega-3s it is. But actually, more recent research shows that you don't, you know, in, in nature and in physiology for health, more isn't always more. And it turns out that more recent research has shown even a piece of cod, which is considered a not very oily fish, has enough omega-3s to actually do you some good. So if you um, want to actually enjoy seafood because of the omega-3, don't shy away from having cod, um, uh, halibut, uh, mussels even, clams, even shrimp actually have uh, omega-3s. And that's one of the things that I wrote about in my book, Eat to Beat Your Diet, are the doses of the foods that may not come across as very oily, but actually have enough to actually improve your metabolism. How does that, what does that mean? Well, it turns out when you actually activate your metabolism, you burn down harmful body fat, you shrink, can shrink your waistline, your body tube actually gets a little bit tighter and um, it lowers inflammation. The key though, I think what you're talking about is like not everybody enjoys fish. Not everybody's used to eating fish. And part of the reason that we're so deficient in omega-3s, for example, in places like the United States of America, is that people are not just not eating uh, enough seafood, they're not eating enough seafood regularly. So if you compare uh, certain countries like the Mediterranean, where they eat a lot of fish, all right, it, it adds up the amount of, of omega-3s that you eat over time. And this is why, you know, some studies, like there's one study of 7,100 individuals living across Italy. It's a country that eats a lot of fresh fish and even tinned fish. The omega-3s build up and they wind up having lower incidences of inflammatory diseases, including cancer. In fact, it was one study that showed a 34% lower risk of developing colon cancer with um, uh, avid uh, fish eaters, including tinned fish. However, let's say that that's, you know, and about three times a week is kind of what you need, but not everybody does it. And so what I try to guide people to do is to say, you can get your omega-3s from eating seafood. Got to choose your seafood wisely and hopefully get it sustainably fished prepare them in ways that uh, are healthy, est, not just, you know, you don't want to take a healthy piece of fish and deep fry it. And now you've turned something healthy into something less healthy, cook it in a healthy, prepare it in a healthy way. But also, you know, if you wanted to, uh, if you're a vegan or a vegetarian and you want to get it from plants, there's a plant choice, but if you want to make it as easy as possible, and, and this is something that I actually do myself, uh, I'll take omega-3 supplements because I know that's a way for me to regularly get a dose that will actually help build up those levels in my body. It's that important to me to be able to keep up my omega-3 levels. Aim to eat fatty fish at least three times a week. If you're not a fan of fish, plant-based sources like flax seeds, chia seeds, and walnuts are also great options. You can even consider taking a high quality fish oil or algae-based omega-3 supplement, especially if you're vegan or don't get enough from your diet. I think it's a, it's a great um, value add um, to help people benefit from omega-3s. We need to get this message out uh, as much, you know, more and more. Omega-3s are important. Uh, other supplements can be really important as well. Uh, this is, you know, not the, from my perspective, it's really emphasizing just how important it is to be able to uh, up our game. And when it comes to omega-3, our body doesn't naturally make it. So something that we know for a fact, the evidence is there that it can help our health. We can get, we should get it however we can. If you're a seafood lover, go for it. If you want to explore it, go for it. If you're a vegan or vegetarian and you want to get it from plants, look, that's a good way to do it. Choose it, look up the plants that actually do it. But you, but because your body doesn't make very much of it from plants, you're probably going to want to supplement it. And if you want to just kind of go for the supplements, this is, you know, one of those exceptions. I'm somebody that rarely 
puts supplements before food. But in this particular case, if you want to make it a no-brainer to be able to get those healthy omega-3s, get it. Um, uh, the, the polar lipid is excellent. And get a blood test because then you can actually, the, the prick test, and now you can actually uh, figure out where you stand. So, if you're looking for a simple, natural way to reduce inflammation and heal your body, omega-3s are a must-have in your diet. Whether through food or supplements, make sure you're giving your body the nourishment it needs to thrive. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this information helpful, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon for more health tips. Don't forget your health is in your hands. Let's heal together, one step.